Taking a look at the world today and the vast quantities of refuse and waste created, it's not too difficult to appreciate exactly how much of a problem the disposal of rubbish has become. The world shrinks almost daily. Populations continually rise. People live in closer contact than ever before. Living standards and habits change, with the result that the waste produced not only increases in quantity and variety, but also poses serious environmental and health hazards. Yet, despite the dangers, it was not until the comparative recent times of the 20th century that the sheer logic of collecting refuse together and disposing of it en masse was appreciated. It was 1922 before two forward-thinking men, Harry Shelvoke and James Drury, put their heads together to produce one of the first collection vehicles ever. And by so doing, founded the present-day company which bears their names. The vehicle upon which Harry and James based their hopes grew up. And now, more than 50 years later, Shelvoke and Drury vehicles are amongst the most sophisticated of their kind available. Production has increased 20-fold, and it is in the waste collection area of operation that the company has made the most rapid and effective progress. Not without good reason are vehicles bearing the SD logo seen in daily use throughout the world. Take the Revopack, for example the latest and most revolutionary SD refuse vehicle. Designed and built to handle the light, bulky refuse of today, it handles very well itself. An outwardly aesthetic appearance only goes to conceal the rugged construction which enables it to deal with any situation. The chassis is designed to meet the arduous conditions imposed on this type of municipal vehicle. With a unique stop and start, low gear mode of operation, a high wear factor is created. And because of this, where manual transmission is included, an oversized clutch, as compared with a proprietary chassis, is fitted. The inclusion of automatic transmission reduces downtime, as well as adding to overall safety. The configuration of the chassis layout is